want to do something like, and I, I want to open people up to that understanding to say, look, it's not actually, it's not actually your fault. Do you know what I mean, it's like someone that's born into an abusive family. It's like, it's not your fault. No. You've been born no. into it. It's n- n- you, you like, I understand why you're depressed and anxious. Yeah. I totally understand it. But I think about this in the book about like that. Love that. Ways. Yeah, of, yeah. Stop blaming and just understand where you come from. The belief system. Like mm. I grew up in a family of X, Y, Z. Like I can't. I don't blame it. But becoming more aware is the st- the first step. Yeah, it's yeah. Going to help you get to another level. 100% and I'm just going to do a little analogy that I always like to work with when I work with clients and say like if you're playing blackjack or something and I'll give you the I'll give you the choice choice of the hand you, have you played blackjack before yes yeah so obviously you've got to reach 21 which hand do you want this one or this one I'll take this one this one yeah <laughs> yeah okay cool you've got a two and a three I've got a king and an ace Ah. so that like it wasn't to do with like it, it was just it was just the luck of the draw do you know what I mean like you could have chosen that one you just yeah. unfortunately didn't and, and that's sort of like the you've just got to play the hand you're dealt with and do you know what I mean like some people do have it worse and I'm not saying they don't because some people really do um and 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 like like I, I always use myself as an example and I'm, I'm so grateful that I've actually been through so much stuff because yeah because I actually like I'm not just talking at it from like a book smarts point of view I'm talking at it from like an experience and I feel like so many people want to go and so many people said to me well and I've made videos before and like well you clearly don't have anxiety then and I'm like no I don't anymore as I used to um and then I, I I was meditating the other day and it came to me it really came to me that someone who's just got out of um that mentality of the depression and anxiety they cannot actually relate to someone anymore that has it and they will say and I feel like and everyone I believe goes through this I've sort of found like a process of what happens when people start to heal and it's not obviously a straight line which most people assume it's like you I don't have my book with me I I wrote it all down it really came to me and it was like you start at that hopelessness then you move to hopefulness then you move to frustration which is like a downturn and you actually pull back down then you actually move to like a god complex kind of point of view of just like well everyone should be able to heal themselves everyone should be able to heal themselves and we do (laughs) And, 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 and actually recognizing that gives you the ability to go, okay, I'm here now. Where do I need to get to next? And you're like, I'm actually going to move to the God complex. Then I'm going to move to um, like a, a burnout. And, and I believe we all get there. Like, I, I believe it is a process for everyone. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily last as long for everyone. Some people, it could last a few days, a few weeks, a few months. It, it really is dependent on the person. Um, and, and kind of like you said, it's not just mental, it's physical as well. And it's kind of like, how do you actually live a happy life? You Mm -hmm. can't just be financially successful. You can't just be spiritually successful. You can't just be mentally successful. I feel like it's a balance of all of 